Hello YouTube, welcome back, Chris here. Uh, I had a request in one of my comments from Aiden Lodo, so this video is for you. He asked uh, to do a video on every tool you would need to work on bicycles or start working on bicycles, and possibly also in a mobile setting, like in a vehicle. Um, that's a very difficult task to do, so I've been pondering how to do this video, and this is the best way I came up with. So, this is not every tool you might possibly need, but this is the tools that will do about 95% of every job on a bicycle. So let's get started. I've broken this down into three categories. This first category is the real basics, the basic shop tools. Uh, most of these are non-bike specific, but just stuff you're going to need uh, to get started. So first we have here Allen wrenches. Got to have Allen wrenches. I also have a set of folding Torx wrenches in there. A hammer, screwdrivers, pedal wrench. You're going to need cutters and pliers. Um, I like to have a cable cutter, a side cutter, and a needle nose pliers. Tire levers, uh, a monkey wrench or adjustable wrench, handy for a lot of different tasks. Uh, metric box end wrenches. I have in this set uh, 8 to 15. That's the basic. Uh, I would recommend going from 6 to 20 in a more um, a complete set for a bike shop. Here we have uh, scissors and a razor blade, basic cutting tools, gear scrubbing brush, and of course you got to have your lubricants, your grease, your bike wash, and your degreaser. And then the centerpiece, you got to have a work stand. So folding work stand for a beginner is perfect because you can put it, especially if you're doing a mobile uh, setup in a car, you're going to want that. Now we're going to get into the more component specific tool. These are more specific bicycle tools, not just general shop use. We have a chain whip or a vice whip. We've also got numerous uh, freewheel uh, or cassette tools. There's a lot of these. I only put a few out, but there are, as I did in the video, there's, there's a lot of different uh, freewheel and cassette removal tools. Lock ring tool, uh, chain tools. So here we've got a master link pliers. We've got a chain tool. We've also got uh, several um, chain checkers. A pair of cone wrenches for adjusting hubs. We also have two crank pullers, a square taper spline and an ISIS spline crank puller. That's a chain ring nut uh, wrench. Basic disc brake tools, rotor truer, uh, and a uh, brake piston uh, decompression tool. Bottom bracket tools, these are just the ones for threaded bottom brackets, and this is only a couple. There's many of these. Fourth hand tool for cable pulling, spanners. Derailleur hanger alignment gauge, very important to make sure bike shifts right. Torque wrenches, torch, and spoke wrenches along with a truing stand. And obviously there's a lot more spoke wrenches than this. This is just a handful of them. I did a whole video on every spoke wrench park tool has ever made, so you can check that out. Now let's go down to what I'm going to call the advanced job tools. These are tools you're going to use for... Um, Bigger jobs, you're not going to use these near as often, and they're pretty pretty expensive. So here we have a crown race puller, crown race setter, headset press, star nut setter, bottom bracket press with all the different cups for the uh, different standards of pressing bottom brackets, bleed tools, there's a lot of different bleed kits out there. This is just Shimano and SRAM and some accessories for those. We have our frame and fork alignment tools, frame bender. Uh, chain ring, uh, I'm sorry, chain line uh, gauge here, uh, fork alignment gauges. We've got our cutting tools. I also left out a hacksaw and a gauge, but here we have a headset, or I'm sorry, a seat post uh, reamer. We have bottom bracket, uh, thread cutters, uh, different taps for pedals, eyelets, things like that. Uh, and then down here we've got bearing removal tools for headset bearings, bottom bracket bearings. And over here we have more advanced spoke tools. This is going to be more for wheel building. We've got a spoke cutter. We've got a spoke threader. We have a nipple driver, tensiometer, and a spoke, uh, basically a ruler made to use for measuring spokes. Uh, on top of these, you're definitely going to want to have a floor pump. But that about uh, covers the majority of what you'd need in a bike shop. If you had this whole set, you could pretty much fix most anything on a bicycle, except for some real specific tools. Um, one thing to keep in mind, I've been doing this a long time. I have a ton of tools. 
you never have all of them. You know, you might get an entire collection, and next year a new standard of bottom bracket comes out, and you got to buy a new three hundred dollar tool. So it's ever changing, ever evolving. Um, but this is going to do most all bike jobs. Um, you're obviously going to start out with your more basic tools when you're new to it, and work your way up. Um, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions, comments, if you want to see any of these tools in depth because you have questions on how they work, please let me know. I'm happy to do a video or an explanation of how they work. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to make more just like this.